Hi, my name's Michael Bailey, and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to write a ProCal procedure that talks to a UUT over a serial port, a USB connection, or a GPIB address. In this case, we're going to be talking to this 3401A over a GPIB interface provided by National Instruments. The first thing we are going to do is check in the NI software the address of the 3401A that we're going to be using as our UUT. So in the NI software, scan for instruments, we can see that the 3401A is appearing on address 22. Now that we have confirmed that the computer is working correctly and detecting USB devices and GPIB devices, we will start writing our procedure. To do this, we'll open ProEdit, File, Create New Procedure, Enter an instrument description of multimeter, manufacturer of HP, model number, a version number, we are choosing a standard certificate for this example procedure, a date created and edited. We will click next. We will select DC voltage as an uncertainty statement to be included on the certificate. And down here where we have a line saying instrument 9 reserved for unit under test, we will click enable. This enables us to write a procedure without directly referencing a UUT address and allows us to configure that at runtime. So clicking next, we'll select a test type of meter, test function, DC voltage, test title of 10 volt DC range, a value of 10 volts, an accuracy, for example, of 100 ppm, and a test value decimal places of five, five decimal places. Result input, we select keyboard manual, and then we go to the instruments tab. And in the instruments tab is where we're going to be setting up all of our measurement parameters. In this case, we're not even going to be using the ProCal driver for the 4010. We're going to be treating this as an unknown voltage standard with its own set of commands and a UUT that is not supported within ProCal. Our first line is going to be configuring the 3401A to set itself to the 10 volt DC range to avoid any input overloads. For example, if we were set on the 100 millivolt DC range or a sensitive resistance range. So we'll use the line UUT. This now means that everything addressed to this UUT is going to be passed down towards the GPIB bus. Using the 3401A programming guide, we are going to be using the configure parameter. So we'll type in conf volt DC and then the 10 volt range. We'll press enter to start the next line of commands we're going to be sending over the uh, remote interfaces. At 01, I'm using AT01 because I'm actually going to set up the calibrator in ProSet to avoid having to directly command um, any GPIB or USB commands, in this case in fact USB. But if you configure your calibrator, your system voltage source in location 1 and you select an address in that position, AT01 will automatically configure the interface for GPIB or USB or whatever other interface you are using. So I'm setting the 10 volt range, an output of 10 volts, and turning the output on, and then followed by a carriage return to terminate the line. Now for the readback portion, I'm going to type in readback. So now ProCal knows to run around only the commands below this line, rather than constantly resetting the multimeter to the 10 volt range and resetting the 10 volt output on the calibrator again. And once again to the UUT, we're going to send the command to trigger a reading and place the information on the GPIB bus. We're now going 
We're now going to tell Procal to get the reading off of the bus with the fetch read command. And finally, we're going to tell Procal that use the reading you get back as the reading within the procedure. What we can also do is we can add an additional delay. Perhaps the multimeter needs a few seconds to settle after getting the reading command if it's sending a trigger and then read. So we'll enter a delay of 0.5 seconds between sending the read command and then getting the information back over the bus. In the advanced tab, we have now an option to set auto stability. So this will wait until the readings coming over the bus have become stable. We will set an five readings to average and we will enable auto step at 90% of specification. This means that if the reading is within 90% of the specification we entered on the test page, it will step onto the next test automatically once five readings have been taken. We will now copy this test, insert a new test, and modify for a 5 volt setting. So in the test, we will set test value to 5 volts. In the instruments tab, we will modify the DC voltage source to output 5 volts and everything else will remain the same. As you can see, Procal has automatically updated the accuracy based on 100 ppm of 5 volts. We will click done and now we're done with ProEdit. I will now configure my calibrator, my voltage source in ProSet. So go to File, Edit Instrument Traceability. At the moment I have an example calibrator set. We have the 4010 selected. I'll enter the serial number. An example certificate date. And I'll clear out the GPIB address. As Procal has automatic detection of devices on the serial or USB ports, So now we will start Procal. As we can see, the 4010 has been automatically detected. Procal is starting, informing us there's some incomplete traceable instruments, but we're not using those for these tests. We'll search for a procedure. Select the latest procedure that we have written. Traceability information is informing us it's going to use the 4010 as well as our uncertainty statements. It has now prompted us to enter a UUT address. So we select GPIB address and 22. We're unticking the auto safety prompts and run calibration tests. We'll enter an example serial number in calibration interval and click as found readings. So you're now seeing the 4010 has been set automatically, as has the 3401A, and we are taking measurements over the GPIB bus in just a matter of minutes. Thank you for watching this short video. For further videos or information on our products, please visit our website at www.transmill.com or visit our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash transmill.